Welcome back to another video. This is a documentary video of me leaving to Dominican Republic, but these are the days before. And right here, you see the boy Adonis and Jonathan Blair, two tough players. Jonathan played pro and Adonis is still playing. Guys I look up to now, you know, he is a Dominican who put a lot of Americanized Dominicans on the map and we're just thankful uh, for the opportunity to grow and learn from them and learn from him, especially going back to the Dominican Republic. Man, Omni Conference, boy, sheesh. Omni Conference was crazy. God was moving and he did his thing. Heading to the airport, it is time to head to Dominican Republic. My flight was for 8.50, but you know how it is. Hispanics like to get there two to three hours early. But guess what? I made it to my flight. Thank you, Jesus. The flight went well. I fell asleep. Didn't sleep the night before. So, man, I was just thankful I was able to get there fast. Now just preparing with my uncle and we talked yapped it up and just tell him how we're focused for this season and got to spend time with family they play dominoes and just enjoyed the moment that i get to live and be with my family in this country you know most of my family lives in the Dominican republic so this gives me the opportunity to grow with them every time i'm here and that's something that i don't take for granted and i say god thank you again because you are moving in my life and because you're moving in my life i'm always going to give you my best as an athlete it's so important to work on your body your body is your bread maker you know the bible also talks about how our body is a temple of the holy spirit you want to make sure at its top at its finest you know, not everybody has the opportunity to do this. So we have to thank God every day that we can get up, that we can exercise, that we can run, that we can talk, that we can do things because some people don't have the opportunity to do that. And so taking these moments to trust God, taking these moments to work hard and saying, God, here I am in the position that you placed me in. I'm going to give my all and I'm going to make sure that I make you proud. Because we're not doing this for men, we're not doing this for women, we're doing this for the Lord. And because I'm doing this for the Lord, He will bless me. And the Lord will bless you when you're doing it for Him and you stay obedient and you stay in that path. God wants to use you. God wants to mold you. God wants to prepare you. He wants to bless you with great things in this life. As a Christian, it's not easy, but it's worth it. And so God will elevate you in the position, whether you're athlete or not. God will elevate you for his glory and you will see how God can use you daily, monthly, yearly. 
stay focused, stay the course, put yourself around people that are going to help you, whether you're in a different country, whether you're not in a different country, whether you're around people, or whether you're isolated, make sure that you are reachable because in this life, we won't be able to do it alone. But thank you, God, because we live in an era where there's technology and we can hit people up and we can do things. And so again, stay focused in this journey. You already know how to get a haircut because haircuts here cost $7. In America, it costs 40 and they get you right, they get you right. My last thing I wanna talk about is how this is gonna be a good year. It's gonna be a great year. I believe it and I see it. And this is gonna be a year where it's not only gonna change my life, but it's gonna change the people around me. And so I'm staying focused, I'm staying hungry for what the Lord has called me to do, the assignment he has called me to do. Thank you guys and see you guys soon. Thank you.